Hi, hi from Andrea Unger. Today I want to talk about metals, futures on metals. And I put this list here so you can see what I mean. Obviously you know about gold, first metal, precious metal you probably think of, silver, platinum and copper. These are all interesting um, instruments to develop systems on, in particular gold is a very good market to trade on. It's a market where, where you can develop trend following system, counter trend systems, bias system, especially bias, believe me, there are very interesting opportunities on gold to discover and to take advantage of. So gold is one of my favorite instruments to trade with trading systems. Silver is also very good, but silver is much more nervous when compared to gold and it's harder to find a good model that fits silver. So if you start now developing systems, you better focus on gold, forget about silver. And consider also that silver is a very expensive market. And also because of the moves it has, sudden strong moves, your stocks, which have to be wide enough to face this market, will be or have a higher chance of being hit. So silver is a market where you can get a certain degree of frustration when you develop systems on it. So I would not put it as a first choice, certainly gold and eventually platinum, which year after year is becoming more interesting. The only um, drawback on platinum is that it is, I might say, highly correlated to gold. So if you have a model, you apply that model to gold, uh, it would be useless to add the same model on platinum in your portfolio because you would actually overexpose yourself to a probably similar move. So actually, you have to choose among these. There is a sort of an inverse correlation in the moves of copper to gold, at least in the short term. So copper is another market which is interesting and responds well to counter trend, mean reverting moves, but also trend following. So you say, <laughs> what's the best? Actually, believe me, copper has very explosive and sudden moves. The point is that these moves often end up with a huge retracement. That's why I mentioned the counter trend, because on the excessive moves you have rebounds. Obviously, the point is that we can take advantage of both. So when you start developing on copper, try to manage your position the best way possible. Investigate what the best way to manage the position could be, because it offers incredible opportunities, but it's a very nervous market, so you have to be pretty much skilled to trade it. Gold, for sure, number one. Platinum, don't forget copper, keep silver for your later days. Cop gold on intraday should work with stop loss of at least $1,000, better $1,500 or $2,000. Similar platinum, copper can be traded with stops starting from $700, $800 up. Uh, all these are linked to the characteristics of the moves of the market. If you use tighter stop, you waste your strategy because you don't adapt anything to the way that market moves. In case you really love gold, you could consider micro gold to trade instead of gold if you want to dedicate a lower level of risk. Don't use mini gold because there is not liquidity enough. Micro gold is much better. You could choose that one. It's a good market to start with smaller capital. That's it. Stay tuned for other markets. Ciao from Andrea Unger. Enjoy it? Click the link below and you will be noticed as soon as new material is available.